G'day, it's Phil here, and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking through 50 cent pieces again, looking for commemorative coins, rare coins, and coins worth more than face value. We have my 50 cent collection book here, but if you have missed it, I did do a live stream not that long ago, so let's have a look at what happened on that live stream. Almost close. It is an... <laughs> It is a small territory, Norfolk Island. That's that's our first keeper of the uh, Centenary of Federation for tonight. Fantastic. Smart Fizzy is in the house too. G'day, Smart Fizzy. I'm going to put that one down to the side there. Norfolk Island, very, very happy getting that one. I don't see that one as much. Some of the others. Another gold prospect says visit a new coin shop that's open near me. Good range and has hope it goes well well if you coin shops are becoming few and far between and you know if you uh, support him he'll support the community I suppose hope that goes well 2006 we've got not a rotation look another decent looking 2001 oh there it is oh my god look at that Fantastic. Australian Capital Territory. That has closed my book out. I cannot believe that. That is fantastic. Everyone, can you put it in chat that uh, it's the ACT so that when the, this video comes up, the, uh, everyone can see that I've got the ACT. I'm going to, uh, yes, I'm going to uh, put this bit of the video in my 50 cent hunt. The next time I uh, open one up, uh, it'll be a couple of weeks. You guys will see that where I close out the book with this particular coin. I uh, can't get enough of it. Look at that. That's fantastic. Excellent. That is so good. So good. And so, yes, finally, I have picked up the Centenary of Federation for the Australian Capital Territory. And as I said on the live stream, that will close out this particular book, this 50 cent collection book that has the gap or the placeholder still in place here, the Centenary of Federation Australian Capital Territory. So we'll pull that placeholder out and we'll put in the Australian Capital Territory coin. That then completes the book, apart from the round 50 cent piece uh, from 1966, which is going to be too difficult to find. And so we have completed the seventh book of the 50 cent collection. It's now time to start all over again. So we're going to close that book off. That book's done. We'll put the placeholder in some other uh, book. We'll move it over here. And just recently, I was in uh, Thompson Coins to pick up uh, some supplies. And I've got a new book. Over the journey, you would have seen me use both the VST books as well as the Royal Australian Mint Collection books. But this time, I thought I'd mix it up a little bit. I've done pretty much all the colors in the VST books. And I have got the new... Australian 50 cent coin collection folder, volume one and volume two. And they were designed by a company called uh, Modern Albums. And they have placeholders very much like the uh, Australian, uh, the Royal Australian Mint folders as well. Doesn't have uh, placeholders with, with uh, pictures on it, but it does have the description of what needs to go where. So I have a place for the round 50 cent piece if we ever find one of those. And then individually we will go through and starting with this hunt, we will start putting coins in these two 50 cent collection folders, the volume one and volume two. So let's put them aside now and start with our new hunt today. So let's pull in a little bit. We'll take a, take a roll start the hunt from fresh so every every commemorative coin that we find we will be making them a keeper because they will go into the book and the very first coin that we see is the silver jubilee coin from 1977 celebrating queen elizabeth ii's uh, 25th uh, year of reign so that'll go down the top although as i say at the end we will be putting all of the commemorative coins into the collection book there is the coat of arms. It's a standard 50 cent piece design. And I'll be looking through just the reverses, just looking for commemorative designs. And at the end, I will go through all of the coat of arms looking for the years of low mintage. 
The low minted years is 1985, 1993, the 2019 IRB and the 2020 JC uh, coin, as well as, if we can find any, the 2023 coin as well. That's a 2010 coin, and we always check the 2010 for rotation errors, but that wasn't, one doesn't seem to have it. Here we have a 1988 coin with no dot in between the two eights, and that'll be a tall ships. So we have a tall ships for today's uh, hunt. It's a very nice uh, coin to find. Not particularly low minted, but a very, very nice find. And I do usually keep all of my tall ships. And in this particular instance, that's going to go straight into the book. There's a 2012, and we look for the donut or the uh, bubble era on that one. There's another 1977, not as in, not as good nick as the first one. But as we move through the hunt uh, and go from one to the other, every uh, week that we do it, we'll try and upgrade the coins that we have in the book to the best possible uh, example of what we can find. Here we have a 2001 coin. It's going to be a Centenary of Federation, but what kind is it going to be? Oh, we've got our first, we've got our first Centenary of Federation state coin. We have New South Wales, so that's fantastic. It's a little bit higher minted than most of them because the they were designed uh, to be minted in proportion to the population of the individual states. And New South Wales at the time was the highest population state, so that'll go down the bottom. And now we've got definitely got a keeper, a nice keeper for the book, one of the harder ones to find. So we'll keep going. There's a 1969, and that's uh, one of the ones that I saw in the the book itself as the uh, type. Uh, after the round 50 cent piece. I'm going to keep that out so that we can put that one into the book and uh, and, and make sure that we do have uh, something in a place that it's supposed to be. So we've got our first roll gone through there. Only a couple of commemoratives, but some really, really nice ones there down the bottom. We're very happy to be picking up a Centenary of Federation so early in this particular hunt. Uh, in days gone by, some hunts have been very, very quick. Some hunts have taken a long time, like the last one. We have another common commemory. This is the 1982 Commonwealth Games Brisbane. So that'll go in the book, or at least a, an example of that will go in the book at this point. And so we'll continue on with the hunt, looking for those commemorative coins here. We have a 2005. This will be something for the book. It is the secondary school student competition winner for a 50-cent uh, piece design. And that'll go in the book. Uh, that one will go in the book unless we get a better condition one. And then we have another common commemorative, the 1998 uh, Bass and Flinders. And this is not in too bad, Nick, so it would be reasonable to put that one into the book. And I think that one might have a bit of a cut on it as well, yes. Or does it? No, it's just a bit of gunk. I thought it was a chin cut, but it's just a bit of gunk on uh, Queen, Queen Lizzie's chin there, the chin whiskers. Another 2010, well, what's that going to be? Ah, it's the Celebrate What's Great, Stray Day, 2010, and that's not in bad condition at all. We're happy to be putting that one into the book, but it is a common commemorative, so we'll go up on the top row. There's another 2005, and this one is the Remembrance Coin, the 60th anniversary of the end of World War II, also another different uh, commemorative, and that will go up on the top row and then we have two uh, millennium year coins from 2000 well, let's check them for the uh, accused flag error this one seems to be fine there's a bit of a dint in the center there and I don't think it is anything other than post mid damage but we'll put that one down there have a look at the second one it's a little bit better condition it's not accused as well yeah that's a little bit better condition and that's the one that will most likely go into the book when we get there we have a 1994 and that's the international year of the family so on the 1994 we check for a wide date variety this one seems to be fine normal uh, the 1994 are all the same size all the same font in the wide date variety the nine and four at the end slightly larger slightly uh, apart and, uh, that's the wide date variety so we'll put that one on the top and then we come to our last coin in this second roll we have Centenary of Federation coat of arms. So this is the uh, 1912 coat of arms uh, replicated on the 2001 Centenary of Federation. That is also going to go into the book, but this is the most highly minted of that Centenary of Federation uh, series. So it'll go up the top as a common commemorative coin. 
and we'll get to our third roll see if we can get some more variety in our in our hunts always exciting to do the very first hunt as every commemorative goes into the book um, sometimes it's hard to get a lot of commemorative sometimes it's not there's another centenary of federation coat of arms so i'll go over there on the, up on the common commemorative row and then we have another uh, commemory the 2003 australia's volunteers this one's a bit gunky hopefully we can get a better one uh, today but otherwise in the next couple of hunts celebrating australia's volunteers of all shapes and sizes and so we continue on with our hunt through the coat of arms the 2004 that's not too bad and another 1994 a little bit better than the other one a couple of roller marks but still go what have we got there that looks like a little bit like a wide date the nine and the four are a little bit bigger a little bit wider apart we have the two varieties there so we keep going and there we have another commonwealth games brisbane this one this one in much better condition in, in that than that first one that we got so that'll be the one that goes into the book today 2006 2014 oh look at that iatsis that is a fantastic find a low minted uh, coin relatively new in the scheme of uh, commemorative coins 2014 iatsis and then you'll see the australian institute of aboriginal and torres strait islander studies it's the 50th, 50th anniversary of that organization and a very nice find that would normally go down in the bottom row as a keeper i would definitely be keeping those as a low minted coin but today it's going to go straight into the book so that's it for the third roll we're now going to speed up the hunt a bit still we're going to stop when we find something new and call it out uh, and then we're, oh there we go we'll go straight into the uh, a new coin for the day we have the changeover coin the 50th anniversary of decimal currency uh, the changeover coin it's got the coat of arms as a standard uh, reverse but the obverse has the commemorative design which is the small head effigy of queen elizabeth with the uh, pre-decimal equivalent uh, represented there in the form of the ram's head that's uh, at seven million it's considered a, a common commemorative but it will go into the book today because uh, we don't have it in the book yet another secondary school student competition winner if we can get a bit of a chance we will speed the hunt up and i'll come back if we find something new That didn't take very long we have the captain cook from 1970 the very first uh, commemorative coin in the uh, decimal era uh, the captain cook 200 uh, anniversary of his journey across the eastern seaboard there and the discovery of australia so we'll continue on there for the first time today we see the weary dunlop coin the 50th anniversary of the end of world war ii weary dunlop one of australia's war heroes so that is also a common commemorative and we'll go up on the top row but today it's also going into the book
And there, for the first time today, we see the 2002 Year of the Outback. This is the celebrating uh, Australia's Outback, and it is a highly minted commemorative coin. It'll go up on the top row. It'll also go into the book today. Oh, oh, and look at that, Australian Capital Territory. How freaky is that? If I hadn't have got it in the live stream, I would have got it in the very next hunt. That is outstanding. All right, so, wow, that is crazy. And that then brings us on to the last roll. So we might have a little bit of last last roll luck, but we'll see how we go. We've got quite a few uh, commemorative coins down here. Some of them are not in a very good condition at all. So looking forward to getting some uh, upgrades. Another millennium year. That's probably the best one of the ones we've found so far. Yes, I'm going to have to go through just after the hunt and go through and pick the ones that are going to go into the book. Another millennium year. And when I do go through all the coat of arms, I'll be looking for the years 1986, 1987, 1989, 1990, 1992, and 2005. And that's was where there was uh, no 50 cent piece issued into circulation with the coat of arms. Here's a 2001, but it's another... Uh, Centenary Federation. Oh, look, and we have a Fiji coin. So we have our first, not really intended for our circulation. This is a coin from 1982, Fiji, uh, and that'll go into the book as a foreign coin. It's not really supposed to be in our change. It was issued by the Royal Australian Mint, uh, funnily enough, and the uh, dimensions are exactly the same as a 50 cent piece. The Royal Australian Mint manufactured it for the Fiji country, but that is it for the hunt now give me a few seconds and i will go through all the coat of arms uh and pick out uh, the ones that we're going to keep in the book today and then we'll put them in the book so i'll be back in a sec well not uh not too bad in the coat of arms i've got two uh, that i'm going to pull out of circulation two low minted coins that will go into this book first of all we've got the 2019 IRB, the very one that we talk about, the low minted coins at the start of the hunt. And the other one is also a very nice looking coin. It's a 1985. So it's got a little bit of gunk on it, but not too bad in condition at all. And 1985s are particularly hard to come around. They're both uh, at a million. So they're definitely going to go into the book. We'll put them to the side for the moment. But let's pull out a little bit. bring the books into play and so we have the volume one uh we're going to start with that we'll open it up and see that we can uh, put a 1966 coat of arms round but also we have the 1969 standard design queen elizabeth ii effigy and we did find only that one 1969 coin so that will go into the book here we go it's definitely holding it tight in that little holder 
Then we have the next 1970 Captain Cook, and we do have one of those. I did pick up an, uh, a one that was slightly in better condition, but had a bit of green on it, so I wasn't going to be holding that in the collection. There we go. Uh, then we have the 1977 uh, Silver Jubilee. And so we've got one of those that we can put into the holder. There we go, satisfying clicks on most of these. Uh, sorry if it's bouncing around a bit, it's a bit tight. We have the Charles and Die. we don't have one of those. We have a Brisbane, the uh, Commonwealth Games. This one is in pretty good nick actually. Uh, in the end I was able to find one that was in good condition. So that goes in there. Then we have the 1985 standard design, third effigy. As it happens, we do have one of those. So that's gonna go into this little folder. Oh, make sure it's looking straight up and down and then we have the 88 australian bicentenary tenery which is the tall ships and we do get one we did have one of those so that'll go into the book much easier we've got the 1991 uh ram's head the 25th anniversary we don't have one of those international year of the family we did pick up one of those so that'll go into the book there we have the 50th anniversary of the end of world war ii we're in dunlop Pine. we do have one of those so we'll go in there Bass and Flinders, got one of those, so we'll get that into the book there. The 1999 standard design Elizabeth, I haven't got one of those, we'll probably find one of those quite easily. Uh, then we have the 2000 Royal Visit, uh, we don't have one of those. We have the 2000 standard design, uh, which is, um, I'm assuming that is the uh, coat of arms. I haven't pulled one of those out, but we do have uh, Celebrating the Millennium, so that will go in to the book there. Then we have the commemorating the Federation Australian Capital Territory. And we did pick up one of those. Very, very freakily, we picked up one of those in a hunt directly after we picked up uh, it in the uh, live stream and closed out the last book. That very freakily. New South Wales, there's the next. We actually did get a New South Wales. So two Centenary Federations in the very first hunt. Can't be unhappy with that. Then we've got Norf Norfolk Island, Northern Territory, Queensland, South Australia, Tasmania, Victoria, Western Australia. We haven't got any of those. So that is that first book. Wow, there's a lot going into that book, but there's still a lot on the table. So let's crack into the second book and see what we've got there. Uh, commemorating the Centenary Federation, the coat of arms. We've got a real re decent sort of uh, shiny one going in there. It's got a bit of gunk on the top, but that'll do for our circulating collection and uh, then we got the year of the outback i did yes we did get one of those in in, in reasonable condition too the year of the outback that we got so that in orientation there we go there we go uh australia's volunteers we've got a reasonable one but we'd like to i'd like to pick up a much better one of those and we can, usually can so we're upgrading when we can. We've got the 2004 school design. We didn't get one of those. The 60th anniversary of the end of World War II. We did get one of those. The Remembrance coin. I'll put that one in there. School design, Commonwealth Games. Yes, we've got one of those. The best one that we got is this one. And we'll hopefully upgrade that one. We've got 2010 Australia Day. And that one's in quite good condition. Nice. We won't need to upgrade that one. That'll fit right in. The Iatsis coin, which we did get. Another one of the coins that are low minted and very nice to find. And then we got the 50th anniversary of decimal currency. We did get the changeover coin and we'll put that on the side up. And then the last three here, we've got the uh, ref, uh, 50th anniversary of the referendum, 25th anniversary of the Marbo decision, the Marbo coin. We don't have that Iatsis. Oh, what did I do that? Did I put that? Indigenous languages, sorry. The Iatsis Indigenous Languages coin, the 2019, we don't have that. And then we have a 2019 standard design, six effigy, which will be, uh, that won't be the six effigy. We'll put that one down here, that'll be that. Uh, any of, I don't think I've got any 2019, so that, but that'll be the uh, Jody Clark effigy there. And we'll put in our Fiji coin. In the bottom here as a coin that we've got from circulation. Let's see. I guess we do. It's off camera anyway, but there we go. So we have Fiji coin and a low minted 2019. And that is our first hunt with these new books. 
never tried these books before. I know the clip-in books uh, can be very satisfying to put the uh, coins in, so I'm very happy about uh, picking those up. First time we've done use these new folders, so we'll see how it goes. See how this how this one uh, pans out. But if you uh, enjoy what I do, please think about subscribing to the channel. Uh, leave me a thumbs up and comment down below what you think of uh, finishing off the book, the final after 40 something hunts, finishing the book, uh, and then getting the same very coin that, that finished the book off in the first hunt. That's just crazy. I'd love to hear the comments about that. Uh, but as you know, I will be uh, doodling uh, in a few days again. So I'll see you then. Bye.